I'll first start out by saying the zebra pike cichlid is probably the most popular that is recognized. And as far as taking care of these guys, they are cichlids, but some things are a little different. Like for instance, they have an elongated body and depending what species of pike cichlid you get will depend on how long they grow in size. Some of them get super like only three inches short, like the dwarf pike cichlid, whereas some of them can get up to like 14 to 18 inches long. So you really got to pay attention to what specific pike cichlid you have. And if you just go to your local fish store and just pick it out, you may have gotten a cichlid or a fish that's going to outgrow your tank. As you can see, this one in this tank looks about 14 inches long. And uh, these are super cool fish. They're heavy predators. And as far as tank mates, anything that can fit in their mouth is going to go down the hatch essentially and get eaten. They are uh, most, for the most part, omnivores with protein heavy necessity. So when feeding them, uh, use a cichlid pellet as a staple, but give them, give, give some live foods, maybe uh, freeze dried, um, tank size is really going to matter what specific species of pike cichlid you get. Like I said before, it really depends. Uh, it's going to be actually tough to figure it out because a lot of people, um, it's, it's tough to depict each specific species of this genus. So hopefully you don't get confused and misconstrued with what fish you actually got. These are awesome fish. Uh, I would consider these monster fish. Um, and predators. So as you can see in this tank, it's kept with red devils, South Americans, hybrids. That's a Midas I can see. Uh, there's not a lot of info on tank mates just because these guys, um, you, you know, they're from so many different parts of the world that some people keep them with South Americans. Um, there's, I saw a Frontosa tank with a pike cichlid in it on YouTube. I was watching some videos trying to get an idea, but there's just not a lot of info on these guys. So I actually found the most info on monsterfishkeepers.com. Uh, they've always been a good resource. Some of the best minds in fish keeping when it comes to predators are in that forum, just because these guys are building huge monster tanks. And that's, this is just what they do. Uh, with predator fish, we build huge tanks, and that's just how we live. I gotta admit, this is right up my alley with predator fish, and it's really got my attention. Uh, that zebra pike cichlid really has my attention. This, this one, no offense, but it's a little dull in color compared to some of the other species I saw. Uh, still a super cool fish. But uh, the zebra pike cichlid, man, that thing was really vibrant and crazy looking. So uh, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you guys have any comments, um, I try to reply to all of them. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, or wait, smash. Air quotes, smash that subscribe button. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. Uh, just hanging out on a weekend here doing some fish stuff. That's a monster pleco, dude. Um, oh, by the way, pike cichlids, it's a huge deal. I, I find it's super common for all pike cichlids to want to be hiding. So I highly advise you get some hiding spots. They're probably going to get super insecure without them and possibly die because some fish like this absolutely need to hide. And I'm guessing um, they're used to dark waters with lots of hiding spots. So give them that. Get some logs, get some cichlid caves, pipes. Uh, I have tons of videos on hiding spots. I feel like I'm just repeating myself with the hiding spots, but these guys need it. Maybe lower lighting as well. I know um, when I don't have people coming over to my house or I don't have um, doing videos, I have two different types of lights on a lot of my tanks. I have my low lights that save on electricity and I have my highlights for when people come over or when I do videos, 